So sitting with you, I feel like it's an old friend. Oh, I feel like thanks. It's this is you know you've talked about things on your bucket list. Yeah, and this is for me. Oh, thank you. Um, your book is so fantastic. Thanks. It's a joy. Thanks. So I want to start from beginning to end. Okay. Let's talk about Madonna. Does she know about the dedication? Oh, it's so funny. Um, Liz Rosenberg knows, her publicist, and I, I don't know if she knows, and I'm fine with her not knowing because it's a little creepy, actually, but I just did it for fun because it's like, well, why not, you know? She's eventually going to know. I guess. I guess. I okay, don't know. Okay, and then a couple that's the on the first page of your book, your mom is yes. something I want to talk about because yeah, I yeah, think she's your mom so great. is someone who's so influential yes. in your career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she is. And, nice pedicure, Mara. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I'm like, I want to just hang out with you all Yeah, day. my mom is great uh, and big influence. She's the best character in the book, I think. She really is. Yeah. And since we're now best friends, it reminds me so much of my mom because she was mm. a huge influence in my career. Mm -hmm. And she really, I, every time I read about her, I felt like she's the only one in your life who really can tell you. She's a truth teller. Yes. Yes, exactly. And what happens when you don't agree? Oh or, my God, I don't agree all the time. I mean, it is what it is. What does she think of the book and all the success? She loves it. She's psyched about it. And she's been, um, they were in Vegas with me this weekend. I hosted the Miss USA pageant. And my dad really wanted to come to that and, and uh, because he loves pretty ladies. And he really wanted to come. And my mom was like, we don't need to go to that. And I'm like, yeah, dad wants to go. So you're coming. And you don't need to come. Dad will come. So she's so, kind of over it? No, she's not over it. She's just like, do I, do we really need to go to Vegas? Whatever. But she, they had fun, and we had fun, and she's great. Well, so many exciting things have happened for you with this book launch. Yeah. Has the response surprised you meeting people? Because I feel like... Oh, yeah. I mean, it's been really cool meeting people who... I, I meet a lot of Housewives fans and this, but it's cool to meet people who watch Watch What Happens Live. I mean, that's amazing. And, you know, to meet the people who watch the show and who come up to me and say really specific things about the show and women who are wearing side ponytails and all this stuff. It's very cute and it's really flattering and it's really heartwarming and overwhelming. Well, the book, I like so much of it. I like your background at CBS News because I right. think it's important to illustrate that you've worked so hard to be where you are. Yes, yes. Is it getting into hard news something you'd ever want to do again or is it such a No, relief? I don't know if there's, there's not that many organizations doing hard news anymore. First yeah. of all, I think news has changed um, so much. And um, and so, uh, no, I don't. I kind of burned out on it. I could see that. I could see that. But was what was Dan Rather, was it hard to get him back on this show? I mean... To get him on my show? Yeah. No, it was actually, we talked to his book people and we worked it out. He was so cool. I love him so much. Well, I love the story you tell about him in your book, about yeah. how down to earth he really, yes. really was. Did he remember that vividly? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he remembered that. And uh, he's so cool. He's such an inspiration. And how did you think that that was going to go with John Mayer? Like, who comes up with the idea of pairing Um, people? You know, I, I do. John Mayer, I, knew, I know. He's a friend of mine. And... I was having drinks with him in LA like 10 days before and I was saying, look, when are you going to come on my show? And we were talking about it. And then I said, wait a minute, because we were looking for someone to come on with Dan. And I said, I have the perfect thing. Dan Rather's coming on. I go, it's perfect. You're both icons from totally different you know, fields and ages and everything. And he was like, that sounds cool. Let's do it. So sometimes I do and sometimes our producers say, oh, so-and-so is available. And sometimes if we have someone really smart, we try to put them with someone who's not considered a brain surgeon right. because that's an interesting combination. So we just try to make interesting combinations of people. I mean, with John and Dan, those are two very smart people, yet unlikely. John would be great to be on a Bravo show. Is that something you've John Mayer? Um, I don't think he's really looking to do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now... Um, the book tour continues. We're so concerned that you're tired. You oh, don't like be concerned. I'm all right. <laughs> I'm going to sleep this weekend. So Atlanta fans certainly are going to have a lot to ask about the Atlanta Housewives. Yes. Is that filming right now? Uh, it, uh, I, I, yeah, I think we're we're always in some form of production okay. in Atlanta. Getting back to the moms for a minute. My mother always jokes she lives in Boca. Yeah. You know, where you know, Jill Zarin's mother lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
is that like the real housewives of Boca? We or? cast uh, years ago. We cast a show with older women in Boca, and I really wanted to do the Real Housewives of Boca. I thought it would be hilarious, and it would be like you know the Your Moms and the Gloria um, Caymans and all that. And and I was dying to do it, and ultimately my boss did not want to do it and I just thought it would be amazing. So that was floated out there. Oh yeah. We 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 had women on tape, yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. So what else is on your bucket list? You know, we talked, you know, Howard Stern, of course, you were so that great, was on great on there. Um, um, oh, I'm still trying so hard. Al Jean is strangely Oh right, being on The Simpsons. Is, is, that would be cool. Um What else is on you know what? I don't know. That things are getting crossed off pretty quickly. Uh I don't know. I'm I'm just kind of now just focusing on now. I don't know. Uh, well, the, the best part, the only p good part of you being off for two weeks is that I get to sit with you for real Oh, here. thank you. <laughs> so, it's nice to meet you. So, and I wanted to ask you about your radio show. Oh, yeah. It's just limited. It's just a five-week thing on Sirius um, once a week and uh, for five weeks. And the first show is tomorrow morning. And uh, it's going to be great. And you have really Valerie excited. Bertinelli. Valerie Bertinelli and, uh, Caroline, and Manzo. Caroline Manzo. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. Maybe yeah. know a little too much about you. I know you do. So, would you ever do terrestrial radio? I mean, is this something um, you would yeah, go into? Yeah, uh, so I mean, I love radio. Um, you know, you know, I, I, my plate is very full right now, which is part of the reason why this is just once a week for five weeks. Bravo yeah. Radio Network. You never know. You never know. Remember my name, Mara. Davis. Davis. Okay, here's you're really gonna remember me now because we brought you a present. Thank you. Okay. Keep in mind, we love how you give gifts to people and watch what okay. happens live because they're okay. always like really creative, clever and creative. Yep. Okay. The producer and I knew we had to bedazzle something for okay, you. Okay, good. Okay. What you got? And it's something you can use tonight. Okay. Um, for your book signing, we brought you the bedazzled <gasps> Magnum. Oh my God, wow, this is a massive bedazzled Sharpie. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. And if that wasn't wow. enough, Yes. You now have a rainbow of bedazzled. Wow, thank you. This is so great. <laughs> because that wow, way thanks. you can have thank a... Thank you, and I have a little bedazzled tote bag for my Sharpie. You so do. Was... You have a velvet. Thank we you. didn't bedazzle it because we no, didn't want to... No, that's fine. But no, now you're when you're at your signings... Thank you. I really appreciate it. This is amazing. Has anybody bedazzled a Sharpie for you? My Watch What Happens Live team did. Ah! Yes, yes, in my book tour kit. But this is amazing. Yes. Well, your Not book is many. amazing. Everybody Thank you. Should, everybody should read it. I think anybody who's... I think there's so much to it. I think there are a lot of people who are like, oh, the housewives this, the housewives that. Right. Uh, you're very diplomatic. Yeah, it's not a housewives book. It's. I mean, there's stuff about the housewives. Here, I'll sign yours. Oh, my gosh. Um, there's stuff in there about the housewives, but it's not all. But... And I think that's so hard. You know, you can't say anything negative about any of them. Right. But not because they're like your babies. Kind of. Um, yes, totally. Yes, but I still give some gossip. You definitely, definitely do. Um, and we've been Bravo watchers forever. Like, I can talk to you about blowout, show dogs, moms and dads. Great. Um, we love them all, Andy. That's good. Andy Cohen. Nice to meet you. Thanks got, for the great interview. Got the 411. I'm a huge fan.